What is the purpose of clinical trials? Clinical trials in veterinary medicine are very similar to clinical trials that are performed in human medicine. When a patient uh, or pet comes in with their owner, we offer them a clinical trial and so they can choose whether or not to enroll in that study. And our main focus here at, at Ohio State has been in spontaneous or natural animal models of disease. Not only do we learn from the animals, but in fact we're also finding new therapeutic approaches that can help veterinarians take care of the animals with those disorders. What are the benefits and risks? Every time that, that one does a clinical trial, what you're really looking at um, is the risk to the individual as well as the societal risk and the benefit to the individual. So it is this balance between the risks and benefits. The new drugs might be more effective than the currently available therapeutics that are out there. We as veterinarians get access to state-of-the-art cutting-edge therapy that's really not available anywhere else in the country and we get to apply these new therapies to our patients. How are patients protected? We provide them a document that gives them a sense of what the clinical trial involves, what the risks are, what the benefits are, and they can choose whether or not to enroll their pet in that study. In any clinical trial, any uh, pet owner has the ability to take their dog or cat or horse out of the study if they don't feel that the study is going well. As veterinarians, it's our job to ensure that any patient enrolled in a clinical trial is being well cared for, that their quality of life is good, and so we would also take them out of a study if we felt like the therapy wasn't working or they were having side effects that were not uh, appropriate for quality of life. How do veterinary clinical trials impact human medicine? There's a very strong effort to integrate everything that we do in veterinary medicine with human medicine so that we can both learn from each other. The pet dogs have, you know, the diverse biology and genetics that we see in, in humans, and that makes it um, an even better model than some of the other animal models like mice that we use in the lab. But also potential side effects that the drug could have. Um, that's a lot easier to do in a, in a dog that's being monitored by their, by their owner than maybe a laboratory mouse where we can't even really tell if they're tired or sick. A lot of diseases that children have are very similar to diseases that uh, dogs and other animals get. There's a lot of potential to accelerate research and uh, bring therapies to children ultimately more quickly by including dogs and cats and other species with spontaneous disease in that process, we can remove drugs and devices from the pipeline that really aren't very effective and speed up the development of those that look really promising in, in veterinary medicine and into human medicine. What has your experience been with clinical trials? When we first talked to the doctors about the clinical trials, they also said that this medication was being used in dogs, but it was also in an effort to find um, something that was more effective in people with lymphoma too, and that really kind of cinched it for us. The experience has been unbelievable. Not only has Maggie done very well, but her doctors here have been wonderful. What are the benefits of partnership? Having a veterinary school embedded within our own university and here just a few miles away from where we're sitting provides opportunities that are not common uh, across the country and across the world, frankly. We have collaborations with College of Pharmacy, the Medical Center, the Vet School, Nursing School, Dental School, and they're all right here on campus. Would you recommend clinical trials? I would recommend clinical trials to any of my family and friends. The team did a great job of letting me know everything step by step and I was very comfortable with it. I would recommend clinical trials to anyone with animals, uh, especially if they have a, um, a, a terminal illness or a serious illness where proven therapies only go so far. 